What's a good mindset to have when reading nasty comments from people on social media? No one will ever do or say anything to you that isn't a direct reflection of how they feel about themselves in a moment. That's somebody that's unhappy and they're trying to project that self-hatred and self-loathing onto you. They're trolling you, trying to cause you to feel worse than them or hoping that you do feel worse from them or you already feel worse than them already and then you reveal that. That makes them feel better. I've had these conversations with trolls before and they literally get off on getting people upset. Mm -hmm. They feel like they accomplished something. I pissed somebody off. I, I pissed off a Trump supporter on social media. And they feel like, yeah, like that's their life purpose to go through and get somebody mad at them as if that's some kind of accomplishment. Because that fulfills their need for love and connection, obviously in a dysfunctional way. Mm -hmm. But to them, if they get somebody upset, in other words, you're paying attention to the troll and then you get upset, you're validating their model of the world. Instead of mocking them in a playful way and laughing at them, like what I like to do is that when somebody says something really nasty to me, I'll like their comment. And mm -hmm. that tends to piss them off. Sometimes they'll delete it because it didn't get the desired response. Mm -hmm. The best thing is to show you're unperturbed. Almost like you're, you feel kind of sorry for them mm -hmm. and you laugh at them. Like you know, like you're more, you're the bigger person in the. Well, you just, you know, it's like a, um, I've told this story before. There was a, the Buddha was traveling with some of his disciples mm -hmm. and this woman came out of this village and she was cursing out the Buddha and complaining and rah, just all kinds of negativity. Mm -hmm. And then he just kind of sat there and smiled and listened to her and was present with her. And then eventually she said her thing and then walked off. And one of his disciples came and was like, how did you remain so calm? It's like, what? I can't, what, how did you put up with that? And he just smiled and he said, when someone gives you a gift and you do not accept that gift, Mm -hmm. To whom does a gift belong? Yeah. And so that was somebody trying to project their self-hatred and self-loathing. Mm -hmm. He heard her out, but at the end of the day, he didn't take that on board. He, his internal constitution was unaffected by that. Mm -hmm. He didn't take any ownership. And so therefore, it didn't bother him. And she walks away, like, unsatisfied. Yep. Or, like, bamboozled, like, okay, now what? Like Wayne Dyer said, this, I think it was a great quote. He says, other people's opinion of you is none of your business. Mm -hmm. Just like Drew, who roasted you. Oh, yeah, Drew. Uh, what's her name, a follower? Uh, on my TikTok, you can s see that. It's just like some of the nastiest comments you can think of. And that's all this chick does, go around and look, look for men to hate on. Obviously, she's got some daddy issues. Maybe we'll comment back one of these days, because you still have it, right? Well, it's still all over social media. Even Even to this day, people still go on there and, and um, they tag her in my posts, mm -hmm. want her to roast me again. Yeah, we could do it one day. Get her on the podcast. 